comfortable in my own skin. At some point, we have to choose to accept who we are regardless of the make and model. And what I mean by that is you don't get to choose your parents. You don't get to choose how your features are. You know, you get to choose how you look, I can say, because weight loss and eating right and drinking water and taking care of your skin, those things are necessary and things that we can control or contribute to. But who our parents are, what our genes are, you know, our make and model, we cannot choose. But at some point in your life, you have to accept who you are and make yourself the vision that you have for for your life. You know, so many young women, especially young African American women, do not um, don't love themselves the way that they need to. And how can other people love us if we can't love ourselves? How can we expect someone to come in and treat us or love us or take care of us the way that we say that way that God loved the church if we can't do that for ourselves if what we look in the mirror and see is not beauty is not elegance it's not dignity we are the most abused the most mistreated the most downsized downgraded people that there are on this planet and i'm talking about african-american women i am talking about myself it is so easy to look at someone and see the stereotypes that they fall in. A lot of times I don't tell people until I get to know them. I'm a single mom. I'm a teenage mom. Well, okay, not single, but I was a single mom. I was a teenage mom. I don't have a degree. You know, I come from a broken home. You know, I come from all of these things that I've had to overcome to be the woman that you see today. But guess what? I choose to accept myself, make, and model. I choose to accept who I am and further develop who I want to become. Growing up, I've always had curly hair. When people see me cut my hair, they're like, why? They tears and acting crazy. And I'm just like, because it's who I want to be. It's how I want to look. It's how I identify with what Renee presents. I love my hair short. And every time I grow my hair, it's for someone else. I love this look. I love who I am. I love the dignity and elegance and strength that it takes to get rid of the foolishness. Yeah, it's my hair. It's my crown. I get it. But all of the distractions, when you look at me, you have to see me. You have to hear me. You have to get to know me because there are no distractions. Right? Make and model. I've chosen to accept who I am. Make and model. And the moment that I did is when things turned around for me. You know, I always talk about my story with my husband. He drives me crazy, but I love him. We have a great relationship. It's not perfect, but it's perfectly made, if that makes sense. It was definitely meant to be. Even our bumps are not bumps that it's like, mm, maybe, I don't know. You know, it's like, oh, you know, it's about time for him, you know, for me to ruffle some feathers. But... When I met him, I was not looking for anyone. I had accepted the fact that I would be by myself. I had accepted the fact that it would just be me. I would get grandkids eventually. You know, that I had to hustle and take care of myself and my children because it just wasn't meant for me, you know? And when I chose myself and stopped trying to choose people who are beneath me, beneath what I deserved, beneath what I knew that I stood for. People who, you know, just weren't, it just wasn't meant to be, man. They, it just didn't mesh. A lot of times it was oil and water, but I would try so hard and I would try so hard to 
be there and take care of that person and lift them up and, you know, try to sew into them constantly. And at the end, you end up in pain, left alone a lot of times with loss, loss of property, loss of, you know, goods, loss of all types of things. Um, and it's like, well, what did I learn from that? I learned from that that I need to start choosing myself. I need to start sewing into myself. I need to start, you know, building up who I am. And honestly, I need to start accepting me for who I am. That's why I'm so vocal on my channel. That's why I have tears so often of goodness because I know where I've come from. And I choose to let others know where I come from because I don't look like where I come from. I don't look like what I've been through. And my story is not that bad of a story, honestly. A lot of the bad things I did to myself, you know. But it's one that so many people live time and time and time again. There's young moms out there trying to make it. There's middle age 20 moms still trying to make it, trying to fix your credit, trying to do better, trying to take care of these children, dealing with lost love and broken hearts and shattered dreams. I wanted to be a doctor and I kind of had to put that on the shelf. And now I'm just like, well, what do I want to do? I, I have changed. I'm more into marketing and business, but... You know, I would have never made that change had I not taken the time, called a time out, and really got to know myself. The ups and downs, the bumps, the loopholes, the everything that we go through it helps to develop who we are. But the good side of things, the other side of the struggle, the other side of the journey where there's sunflowers and there's more, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> more good days than bad days and tears aren't as often and you're not crying yourself to sleep and you're not crying in the shower anymore and you actually can see the good you know you have money at the end of the pay period you know you're at a different point that comes when you start accepting yourself who you are how you are make and model stop comparing yourself to other people their life their dreams their goals, how things are, because you never know what page of someone's journey you tune in on. That is like the most powerful thing that I could say to myself or to anyone else. A lot of times social media like depicts like this picture perfect life. And some people, you know, they're at the good portion of their life, yes, but you never know what they had to go through to get there how many tears they've cried, how many jobs they've lost, how much loss in general they've had to endure, how many obstacles and hurdles they've had to jump over, you know, the things that were said to them, the knives in their back, the thorns in their side. There are so many things that people had to go through alone with others in the dark, in the closet, there anywhere. There's so many things that people had to go through to get through or to get to where they are today. So I challenge you, <laughs> I challenge you guys to start looking on the inside. What are the things you want to change about yourself? And not necessarily, or not at all, honestly, anything that has to do with others, but what truly because it's not who you want to be. I used to be super soft. Yeah. Can you imagine? Super soft and frail and timid. And now I am this fearless undertaking of a woman. And I got here. One, because of the military. <laughs> but two, just because I wanted to better myself. Just because I realized what's the worst that someone can say but no. What is stopping me from my goals and my dreams and my happiness but myself? I asked myself those questions and over time, over the years, I have just started developing into this fearless woman who I know I am. Sometimes I have to tone her down. <laughs> I have to tone her down sometimes because I know that I am like this powerhouse of a woman and... 
I got here because of my hard times. If I never had gone through anything, I wouldn't be relatable. No one would want to hear my story. People wouldn't care. If I was someone who met my husband at 17 and we were together forever, how would I reach the single mother? How would I reach the teenage mother? How would I reach people out there who are really struggling and going through? I wouldn't. But because I have those trials, I have those struggles, I have that past, that foundation. Don't get rid of your baggage. Like I know this is the craziest thing that someone might say. Don't get rid of your baggage. You pack it up and you carry it with you so you can remember where you came from. If you forget where you came from, then it's a lost cause. You can't help people. You can't touch people. And honestly, you may end up right back where you started because you forgot the struggle. So choose yourself. Make a model. Make tweaks. Be honest with yourself. Grow. Grow from the things that did not break you. It bent you. It probably bent you a lot. But it bent you honestly, to mold you into what you were to become. Right? Yeah. So hopefully this helps someone. It helps me all the time. Like I come in here and I chat with you guys and I really inspire myself. And I really do appreciate when you guys reach out to me and leave comments. I love them. Every single time I'm like, why do I do YouTube? <laughs> why do I waste my time? Sometimes it feels that way. But then I get a comment and it, it brings tears to my eyes because there's someone out there who I was able to reach, connect, who feels what I'm saying. And now they feel a little bit different. So I, I truly do enjoy this community that we have built. Thank you guys so much so 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 much and i i just you guys inspire me way way more than i inspire inspire you <laughs> so thank you guys for watching please please if you have any questions if you just have comments um if you want to further the the communication on this then just leave me a comment below i'm always here for comments i i really do adore you guys and honestly, you have to choose yourself. You have to start choosing you in order for things to start changing. So I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. Until next time. Bye.